Hi Commanders, welcome to the 6.10 patch preview. My name is Kevin and this is Vivian. In today's video, we will preview the new Christmas events, three new officers and some optimizations. So without further ado, let's get started. Celebrate the holiday spirit with a series of Christmas themed events. In the Christmas Miracle event, you will work with all the other commanders on your server to light up a Christmas display window and earn server-wide rewards. Who will come out on top in the gunning for the top? Compete for a spot on the leaderboard for a chance to acquire a base skin. The bingo battle is back on. Fill out bingo cards to earn valuable rewards. Percy's showroom has been upgraded to the legendary showroom. Test your knowledge in the Alliance quiz. This all new game mode will test your knowledge both in and out the game. Travel around the South Pole in the Antarctic Voyage to earn the Penguin Palace base skin. Three new officers will be introduced in this update. Valkyrie is a tank officer. She increases the damage of your tanks and helicopters, while she also has a chance to inflict Sundered Armor. Sundered Armor reduces the target's damage resist up to 20%. Valkyrie will become available on servers older than 182 days. She can be acquired if you promote any Camp Liberty Ground Officer to level 40. Eye of Providence is an artillery officer. He excels in attacking enemy bases in enemy alliance territory. His awakening skill increases skill damage dealt by bases by 40% for all officers in the troop. Eye of Providence will become available on servers older than 300 days. Upgrade any Camp Liberty troop to level 80 to acquire him. Professor Penn is a tank officer with a wide range of skills. He can increase the damage and HP of your tanks and helicopters while also providing HP recovery. His awakening skill gives him a 25% damage increase and a 10% damage resist reduction while in combat. Professor Penn will be available on servers older than 300 days. You can obtain him by collecting 10 Professor Penn statues in the Jovial Bistro. We've also prepared some game optimizations in this update. You can now change the camera's field of view in the game settings. A narrower field of view will help improve performance. Added the ability to auto disassemble copper quality parts in campaign mode, unlocked in chapter 3. After turning on this feature, all copper parts acquired in the campaign will be automatically disassembled into materials. In advanced disassembly, you can now only select one high-level unit to disassemble at a time. In addition, we have added additional confirmation prompts to ensure that fewer players accidentally disassemble their units. We've added a bulletin board building where you can find the latest announcements and game-related info. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye! Ha 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 ha!